Hey guys, this is gonna be a short video. Some of you will be like, okay, what, why are we here today? Okay, I'm just gonna make scones. I know some people can't make scones. Alright. I always feel like everybody can, but some people can't. So I'm gonna make scones. My scones will have cheese. I like making things look colorful, so I'm gonna add dry parsley also. So it's gonna be cheese, Kobe Jack cheese with dry parsley. I'm looking for salt. Okay. So for this, it's very easy. So you're gonna need, um, basically, you're gonna need your butter. It's still so hot. I thought it's hot enough, but anyways, let me put that again, in again for another 10 seconds. Okay. So you're gonna need uh, soft butter. So I'm just putting it in for 10. I did uh, put it in for 10 seconds, but it's not soft enough. So it's going back in for another 10 seconds. Now it's perfect. Okay. So. Hold up. Like a cup. Uh oh, invited. Okay, yeah, this will make my life easier. So, I think I do like three cups. So, let's see. Careful because it does become bitter, so yeah. I'm just gonna use two teaspoons of uh, baking powder, and then just a bit of salt. Okay, maybe let's just say a quarter teaspoon of salt will be fine for this. You don't need to, you never need too much salt for anything, guys. Let's just be honest. And then look at that, sprinkle parsley for it to look nice. So we're making scones again, yeah? Scones. I think I'm gonna put in my apron. I know it's already started, but <laughs> let's go in with the apron. Okay. So I'm gonna use DJ's needle. It just tastes better with like less spray or needle, so I'll use my Put uh, spoons of noodle, okay, and also milk, you guys. But just before adding my milk, I'm gonna add in that uh, stick of butter. Okay, need like a butter knife. Yep, scrape. Uh oh, just scrape this off. Are they sinking? Okay, they are definitely sinkers. So they are good. 
if they float if eggs float they off so these are good so there they go because you ain't trying to make those scones too soft better too soft so I just prefer using my hands especially with the scones not like I'm making like uh, vanilla cups, cakes or muffins but you need to use a stand mixer for everything to be fluffy these are scones, they have to be rough and guys guess what I forgot I was going to add cheese as I said I'm going to add Kobe and cheese so I can still go in you see how beautiful that is because there's a lot of butter in there That's what we forgot, we forgot our sugar also. Good thing I did taste it both. So we need our cheese and sugar also. So I'm gonna use brown sugar. So guys, I need to scrape this, but I uh, already lost my butter knife. So I'm just gonna go in like this. Okay, that's fine, that's clean. Guys, I need my brown sugar as I said. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, for my brown sugar, uh, uh, this is so big. Let me just say, you guys, you're gonna need about, let's just say, like uh, four tablespoons of sugar, or let's say up to six, because it's three cups of uh, flour. So, yeah, depending on how much sugar you want. Some people don't even put sugar in scones. But me, I do put sugar. I love my sugar in scones. That's why I also put a needle because it's like nice and creamy and sweet. So, and lots of butter as you saw, you guys. So, I might actually add more flour. Because as you can see, this is too buttery. It's perfect, but I'm going to add more flour just for the sake of adding more flour. But first, before I add the flour, I'm going to add... <laughs> So we've got our Kobe Jack. So you can leave it like that but i feel like i can get more out of this butter you know what i mean i can get more scones like maybe like three more so that's why i added like half a cup of uh, butter you know i mean of flour so you see some people like oh i think you need to add more milk or water no not at all it's still mixing in you guys you see i feel like you guys are looking at my hair now i'm just gonna Good old master about that. See, just work with your flour. See, make sure it's perfectly combined. It has to be perfectly combined. I'm not even sure with making a um, casserole or whatever I'm gonna use to make this. You know. <sighs> You see? You see? 
Sorry guys, you see it's just like I'm trying to make sure I'm getting every bits and pieces. I feel like I need more parsley, but it's fine, you don't need to add too much parsley. It's just for garnish, not for taste or anything, is it? Perfect. And now make sure this is this is wiped before you do this, it's clean. So mine is clean. Just add some flour. That's the that's your, your countertop. And flour. See? Then you're gonna spread. I'm just gonna make two bowls of this. So like this, another half. I'm gonna cook this one first. Roll it out. Okay, I'm gonna use a smaller cup, maybe this. Oh, it has that. So it's gonna give it a funny shape. I need like a glass. Hmm. And my glasses are also big. Well, I guess we make it. This is too big. Oh, guys, I need to get colors. Why? How big is this? This is still too big. It's more than my dress, it's still too big. But guys, oh, I don't want to make it play too. Oh, my son's uh, cups. How big is this? <laughs> oh, guys. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I think this is going to be... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Way smaller. So I'm going to use this. So Perfectly, and then you can always use my outer, you know, dough, roll it again into one piece instead of throwing it away. You see, so get your dough, and you keep going. Get your parts, you see? Then you go in again. Just like that. See? Roll it out. Okay. If you see it's getting sticky, it's because if you don't have any more flour on your surface or your cutter. You see? I'll get like 12 scones out of this. Hopefully, if not more, I'm hoping for a bit more. Okay, so I've got two, four, six, eight, ten, huh? Yeah, 12, 14, 16. So my recipe makes 16 scones, which is not too bad. And then with this one, it's a 17 small one. It's perfect. Just a little more. I'm gonna shape it by hand. It's gonna be oddly shaped. You can't really cut on this one. 
it's gonna be smaller too it's gonna be more flatter so you see you guys okay now i'm gonna wash my hands and i'm gonna find a um, baking dish or whatever to bake this on I do have some baking. Oh, that kind of looks rusty. My goodness. So I'm gonna have to use um like this baking casserole, like it's useful. I use mostly for like baking uh, roast and stuff like that. But I'm forced to actually. So with this you can either you can choose to go in with butter, oil, or you can just go in with uh, flour. So I prefer buttering it up. So. I'm just gonna wrap it up with butter. So just so that my scones don't stick. That's all it is. Just make sure your scones don't stick and burn. And that's it. And then just transfer them in here. Space them out. Because remember they're gonna expand. Because I did use baking powder, so they're gonna go bigger. So you need to space them out. Okay, looks like we're gonna to have to bake them at a time. My castle is small as you guys can see. Okay, let's them out. Put them in there. I think it's I think oh yeah, it's it, it's done. So 325. Put them in there guys and guys we're gonna meet again when the other when the first uh, batch is, uh, is done. I'm gonna give it like let's just say 25 minutes. I use this timer. It's asking me how many minutes. 25. Sounds like a plan. Start. Huh. Strangest thing. It did the same thing last time. Timer. Why are you kidding me? No. Oh my goodness. What? This thing made, gave me a hard time the last time. I can't remember how I did it the last time. But it says, oh, and then it says press timer. Oh, I press start. My bad. Oh. Uh, it's still doing the same thing though. Huh. This is so strange. I did it the last time, but I did it out the last time. Oh, it's that time. No, it's kind of bad. We are baking here. Timer on. And then it says uh, press timer. I did press the timer. When I say start time, it's not allowing me to. I even tried this. Oh yeah, that's worked. Okay, so guys, I did time it for 25 minutes. Guys, we're gonna meet back here in 25 minutes. I'm gonna check at 20 though. And yeah, but guys, you're gonna meet at 25 minutes. Check if the other scones are done. Then you can put the rest of the batch. Otherwise, everything is good for now. I'll see you in 25. Okay, guys, and I'm back. Um, I had to add uh, like 10 more minutes because they were too light. They were cooked, but fully baked, but they were too light. Even now, they're still too light. But not as light as before. I just prefer my skin to be brown, like golden brown, not like dark brown. They're not as brown as I want them to be, but they're still good. As I said, they're fully baked. So as you can see, I just like my scones more, you know, brown. But it's okay. I'm gonna try and put them here for now. So I'm just gonna put them. Not even. I'm not even gonna cover them, just for them to lay out, and then I'm gonna put them. My mason cookie jar. Okay, so it's gonna stay in my coffee station. For now, I'm just gonna leave them here for them to actually eat out. Look at how beautiful those are, you guys. Look at those. And remember, they have cheese and butter, lots of butter, which means just eat your coffee. And they have milk and stuff, so which means just eat your coffee and you're good to go. And you can still actually have them with your jelly. If you're gonna call it, if you, they call it jelly here, they call it, call it jam. You can have them with jam. And also with cream, even still, you can still, like, you know, either this way or just cut them up a bit on top. 
the crust and then put spread a bit of butter again even though it has butter and stuff and then add your jelly and surroundings you can just put your whipped cream i'll show you guys but i don't have whipped cream right now so i might have to get some whipped cream if i still have them over the weekend i'll show you what i mean so i still have one more here so i'm just gonna leave them out here for them to air out before putting them on my mason jar so I am just gonna go in here okay mm. those are the crumbs oh they taste good okay so I'm just gonna do 35 this time as you can see the timer is going out I with the stove as I'm not familiar with the stove so I do I'm trying uh, every time okay I got it so you guys oh this is hot let me just do it this way I'm going in again you guys last batch for 35 minutes okay and as I said 35 minutes and then start hmm that is so strange I feel like there's something wrong with my timer it's sometimes it takes sometimes it doesn't take okay timer and then 35 and then start and then I've got it okay So guys, I'm just gonna let these, as I said, I'm gonna let these air out as you can see they really look good. Look at that. I'm trying to drop them now. See? Uh, I'm just gonna let these two air out. So you see guys, it's not hard, you know, to make your own baked goods at home. Make your own coffee, things like that. But anyways, you guys, I'm just gonna let this air out so I don't need this cover. And guys, we're gonna meet back here in 35 minutes. And then, yeah. Right into it, I will just take out the other scarves and we'll be done. So then you guys. Oh, uh oh, look at that. It's not working. Guys, I'm stuck on this video. <laughs> it's won't work. Let me just do it like this. And guys, 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 guess what? Our last batch is done. So let's see. So guys, as you can see, these have already um, cooled down. They've been actually for like 35 minutes, so they cool up. They can go in the mason jar. Because if you put them in your mason jar or whatever, in your container while they are actually hot, they're going to get wet and soaked. You know? And nobody's trying to have um, soaked scones. Like they're going to be wet and soaked, they won't be good. So you see, they dry. So I'm gonna transfer these here just to get out again. And yeah, guys, look at this. You see how beautiful they are on the inside? Just so hot. Mm. And remember, they also have cheese. There's the cobbler jar. And guys, here we have it. So once they cool, I'm gonna add them in here, and they will go. They will go in my coffee bar. So guys, here we have it. Oh, this is hot. Hot, hot, hot. Our scones. Oh, I forgot to turn on my uh, ring lights. Oh, I guess I, it was so dark. So now I think I look like brighter. Anyways, as I said, our scones. Okay. 
easy as that you guys so if you're having a tea party i'm gonna be showing lots of uh, uh, baking i'm also gonna show you guys how to make jam squares i know americans aren't familiar with jam squares south africans are i'm gonna show you, show you how to make more tarts jam squares and we do a lot of baking even so say rolls pies guys stay tuned to my channel i'm gonna show you guys how to bake cook even uh table setup guys we're getting there we're getting there slowly but surely but thank you guys for watching this scone video and there you have it your scones and you see they look lovely thank you so much guys goodbye beautiful